Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you drop in an early like as well. In today's video, we have some more very exciting Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War news that has been brought to us today in regard to score streaks, and they definitely work different to how they've worked in any other game prior to this one. Make sure you guys are watching right until the very end so you don't miss out on anything you need to know about the score streaks. We're also going to be covering the time to kill in this game as well, which is very, very interesting. Okay, so I hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay in the background of Black Ops Cold War. It was the one I used in yesterday's video, so sorry if you guys have seen that one and you've already seen this gameplay. But I still think it's kind of cool to watch, seeing as it is the new game we're going to be getting. So, there has been a lot of sceptical around the new score streak system in the way it works. It doesn't reset on your death. So... First thing that came to my mind and heard this was support streaks from Modern Warfare 3. It's going to be like that permanently, and it was kind of cool. But you could get a stealth bomber on, you know, no, we are having to get a kill streak basically in that game, and it was kind of annoying. Though some of the streaks were so OP to say they were support streaks. I think you could get an EMP as well. So, like I said, for the first time in a tryout game, the score streaks do not reset on death. You know, the system is apparently built in a way which promotes those players who get multiple kills in a single life, and lets players earn towards streaks over the course of the game. So, to me, does this mean like a chopper gunner might be 20 kills? Perhaps that could be a good way of working it out, as a bad player might not even be able to get 20 kills in a game. That's the way I'm sort of figuring out that it's going to be working. Obviously, fan reactions were mixed to this, and players were worried about lower skill players getting streaks easily. I was myself. But there's a cooldown timer for each streak which prevents spam and it takes a decent amount of kills in order to get high, higher streaks in the game. So like I just said there with the chopper gunner which was my theory, it might be 20, 25 kills, 30 kills even maybe for like the top end streaks. Uh, so that's probably how it's going to be. Uh, Treyarch's lead designer Tony Flame has commented further on Twitter stating that the new system insensitizes, sorry I'm reading off the Charlie Intel News like blog page. Um, I can't even pronounce that word. Greater play styles. He also says that in order to get the higher streaks, you have to rack up multiple kills in the same life, which is very interesting. It's going to be really, really interesting to see how they work. So the tweet was actually the Black Ops Cold War score streak system incentivizes a greater range of play styles. Earn low tier streaks by contributing your part to your Twitter team victory. So maybe capping flags, you know, holding the hard points. But to afford the juicy high end streaks, you still need to rack up multiple kills in the same life to earn that streak bonus. So it's very interesting. So maybe a chopper gunner might be like get three kills without dying five times, ten times in a game, which is interesting. So in addition, Flame also says that the system was not designed to reward bad players. The system is designed to award middle tier players who invest in the game to have a shot at earning streak, which is very interesting. So obviously there's some guy commented here, rewards bad players, and he replied, I wouldn't say that at all. Trust me, we've still got plenty gotten plenty of feedback internally that some players can't earn streaks and that's okay but we do want more of the middle tier players who invest so much time in our game to also participate in the fun which is okay I don't want it to be like modern warfare where anybody can kill anybody almost like you can get outgunned so easily in modern warfare due to the time to kill and that's how they actually made the game if you didn't know there was an interview at the start of the game is designed to help worse players less experienced new players and that's basically what it's done it has succeeded in that we've got loads of returning players and that kind of stuff come back to modern warfare so they succeeded in that but it was annoying as someone who you know i invest a lot of time into the game i wouldn't say i'm a middle tier player i would say i'm a higher tier player you know i'm i'm all right at the game i do tend to get a lot of a few streaks so when i see bad players that are doing awful which was in same as Black Ops 4, the you know, assist counting is a kill. In that game, you could get so many streaks without actually getting a kill, which was super annoying at times, especially in competitive. He also said that they're always reviewing the in-depth model for the points it takes to earn each streak, and it's subject to change once the beta hits. Obviously, it was only the alpha mode we saw, you know, very, very early stages still in the multiplayer development. So, somebody commented, what if you just made OBJ, so with the playing the objective, worth more points for score streaks, so it gives players more an incentive to help the team, and also rewards the newer players who can't really get kill streaks. So this to me sounds really really good. So you know making people play the objective to earn streaks is you know really good. There's been loads of times and I'm sure you guys have experienced it as well. You're playing a domination hardpoint game. 
you know, whatever it may be, and you get them players, you know, the less experienced players just sat at the back, you know, they're just in the spawn, chilling out, camping, they're not really com contributing anything towards the win, and you, know, you often lose them games, so that would be a really good way, and Tony Flame replied and said, this is something we are actively working on, we've built an extremely in-depth economy model for this system, and we're ready to pipe in and review analytics data from when everyone starts playing, so we can dial it in. So, once the beta, you know, hits, is going to be analysing the streaks, the way the streaks work, I presume they're not going to change very much from the alpha, but they're going to obviously gather data from the beta uh, and see how it works. You know, obviously there'll be very, very you know wide skill ranges on the beta. There'll be less experienced new players, middle tier and higher tier, obviously. And lastly, he confirmed that the esports rule set is still in development and more info to come on how score streaks will work for esports. So yeah, it's going to be really interesting. So if someone said, "Is this system going to be the same for competitive?" I believe the OG streak system will be much better for league. I completely agree. And he just said we are still developing the final competitive rule set. We'll be able to speak more on this soon and that was pretty much it so to be honest after reading this article you know streaks to me do sound a little bit more better than they did sound originally because the, everyone just thought there's going to be support streaks which would not be the way to go at all uh, so thankfully we've got a little bit more of uh, you know understanding of what's actually going to happen and they do sound like a really good idea i can't wait to actually see what it's going to be like in the beta and i do agree with the guy who asked uh, saying that the streak system should be the OG streak system for you know league which uh, I completely agree with to be honest okay so one last final thing before I do let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your day is the time to kill obviously we have a faster time to kill than Black Ops 4. It's still 150 health, I do believe, but it is faster than, you know, Black Ops 4. So, here we go. On average, this is, obviously, some guns are going to be killing quicker than others, and the obviously the Cold War times are alpha times. They are subject to change, so, you know, take them with a pinch of salt. So, an AR, on average, on Black Ops 4, kills in 355 milliseconds. So, you know, 3.5 seconds, roughly. Uh, I think that is, and Modern Warfare is 190 milliseconds, so a massive jump from Black Ops 4 uh, to Modern Warfare, the time to kill was super fast, and in the Cold War Alpha it was 321 milliseconds. SMGs is 315 milliseconds in Black Ops 4, 175 milliseconds in Modern Warfare, 275 milliseconds in Cold War. LMGs 360 milliseconds in Black Ops 4, 188 milliseconds for Modern Warfare, and 344 milliseconds for Cold War. Obviously, the Cold War times are alpha, like I did say, so the subject to change. Uh, and this was one of the reasons why you know I kind of struggled at the start of Modern Warfare. The time to kill was you know super fast. I still feel to this day that playing Modern Warfare is like playing hardcore mode in other games. Personally, uh, you know the time to kill is stupidly fast. I mean, when you put it as like 190 milliseconds for an AR to get a kill in Modern Warfare, it doesn't sound a lot. But jumping from the you know double that in Black Ops 4 was just insane. And obviously, it's going to be higher in Cold War as well. So it's probably going to take some adjustments it into that but that's back onto the theory of how you know modern warfare rewards the less experienced players having a faster time to kill gives somebody else less time to react and manage to you know, turn on them or just slightly adjust to get the kill and um, that's what i found happening to me a lot of the times i might be on a streak i get into a gunfight and this kid you know he's in a corner i see him in the corner of my eye i'm about to snap onto him and uh Obviously, he's already landed a couple of shots on me. He's going to get the kill because the time to kill is that fast. And that's the way they did that game. Like I said, I'm not complaining. It was just annoying. Uh, definitely, definitely good for the less experienced players. Um, and I think Cold War time to kill might be perfect. But it's Black Ops 4 at times was you know kind of slow, especially with the manual healing. You could kill somebody. They could just dip around the corner for a second and be full health yet again uh, to reach out. And I did like that feature, but it could be annoying at times, uh, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, that's the time to kill. I'd love to know what you guys' opinions are on the score streak system and the time to kill. Let me know what you guys think. If you preferred the Modern Warfare time to kill over the Black Ops 4 or vice versa, or you think you're going to prefer the Cold War time to kill. Personally, I'm going to prefer the Cold War time to kill, although it is subject to change. Uh, we'll have to see, you know, once we get the beta and see what it's like. But yeah, apart from that, guys, that's it from me. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to Cold War. The beta releases on October the 8th, I do believe, so I'm really, really hyped for that. Make sure you've got your pre-orders in. Make sure you've got your beta codes ready to go, because you don't want to miss out on that. It's a Thursday it starts, so the weekends are longer than the Black Ops 4 beta, I do believe, and the Modern Warfare beta. I think might be wrong on that. Yeah, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you're smashing a like as well. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them there in the description below. But yeah, apart from that, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.